not going to shy back um, because uh, at Michigan there's uh, there's an expectation and you need to know where you stand day in and day out. And, I mean, if you don't know, how can you get better? You talked about players wanting to know where they stand. Getting mm -hmm. the tryouts for the fifth year spots. I know you're sure you're not friends with them, a lot of those guys. Do they take it pretty hard when they went out for them and didn't make it? Or do they know the um, deal the whole time? So, so what do you mean by trials for the – because it, it's based I, – I don't know the criteria of, in terms of you coming back, but, um, I mean, you got to do what's best for the program. And, I mean, only Coach Harbaugh can speak on the fact of why he would bring a guy back or why he wouldn't bring a guy back. But all I know is uh, no player or coach is greater than the team. And, uh, every single decision that's made from the program through Coach Harbaugh is going to be for the best interest of the team. From a player standpoint, uh -huh. when there's a red shirt, mm -hmm. is there sort of an expectation though that you are going to be able to play your red shirt year with your team? It goes. Me personally, no, I don't expect to to play another year. I, I mean, in terms of uh, of me getting invited back, that'd be that's another story. Sure. But. Um, I just have to make do with the opportunity that I have from a day-to-day -day basis, and I know um, I'm guaranteed four years academically to graduate and get my degree, and that's uh, that's that's what the plan is. We, we graduated in four, four or less. We don't we don't extend it out to five. Five for master's degrees. Have you ever had any sort of been around any sort of surroundings like with this, what's going on with the program, with the buzz generated by the new coach, and, and season ticket sales off the window, and everything? Have you ever been Oh, I mean, it's it's awesome. I mean, everybody's excited about Michigan football. It's making us more excited. Uh, we're itching to get into camp, get into the pads, and uh, hit some people. So, I mean, in terms of any experience outside of this, never. No, I mean, <laughs> I came from a small high school in St. Louis, so there's nothing really comparable to anything like this. But, uh, like I said, we're so we're so very excited for this opportunity, man. We really are. As a wide receiver, talk about the pretty good guy. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh man, they've been working hard. And the thing is, you as a receiver, you don't know uh, who, who's, who's uh, the quarterback's going to be. But the thing that's tricky is you have to take reps with every single quarterback. And uh, so I have to take as many reps as, uh, with Shane as I do, um, let's say, uh, with Jake Rudock or Brian Cleary or uh, Garrett Moore or Alex Malzone. Um, uh, as Wilton Spate, you have to take reps with you know every single quarterback because uh, if you don't know the quarterback, as you can't necessarily choose a quarterback to say, oh, I'm going to work out with this guy. Then it, it doesn't work like that. And so, and Coach Harbaugh encourages um, uh, practice, and I mean, you're getting practice in and timing within uh, with all the quarterbacks. And uh, like I mentioned earlier to uh, somebody, uh, I don't know who it was. I think it was over there at the Big Ten panel. Um, they asked me about their work ethic and how they work. They all work together in terms of uh, breaking down uh, their progression and looking, looking at uh, who, what, which receiver to throw to when they watch film, they watch it together. When they study the playbook, they do it together. Because, I mean, we're all, we're all in this together, man. We're, nobody's against, in terms of on the inside of uh, Michigan football, nobody's in, out to get another player or anything like that. You know, we're just we're trying to build each other up and constructive competition is going to produce the best quarterback. How what, is type notes, what type of notes can you give them, man, as opposed to where you like the ball or you see that someone might throw it? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> My job is to catch the ball. I mean, regardless of where it is. So, I mean, you could always have a preference of where the ball is. I mean, if you're running a corner against cover two, you obviously want in the hole uh, where the where the corner would drop back or the safety be over the top. I mean, that's preferably where you want the ball, and that's probably where the ball should be going. But, I mean, you can't. My job is to catch the ball and block my butt. How has Jake acclimated himself into the program? Oh, uh, Rudolph? Yeah. yeah, he's doing a great job, man. I mean, when I first met him, uh, he he impressed me because he the first thing he did was he got a job at Schembechler Hall. Um, I mean, uh, Coach Harbaugh really emphasizes guys uh, working outside of just football and school. And so just being the complete, I guess, Michigan man and being a positive influence on the community, uh, you can already tell that he already has that that sense of, um, what am I trying to say? The sense of wantingness to be a part of Michigan by uh, committing himself to not just football. And so I really respect that about him. And as a player, he's so diligent, he's so focused. I mean, he's older, obviously, he has a lot of experience. And I think it's a very good uh, um, addition to our program. How's he sling it in seven on sevens? Oh, he's slinging it. Yeah, yeah he, he's, a good, he's, uh, he gives, he's a good passer, man. He, I like I like uh, catching from him, and I like catching from everybody else as well.
Can you see him teaching things to Shane and some of the younger quarterbacks? Because like you said, he's been through it. He mm -hmm. knows the Big Ten. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can learn from anybody, really. But in terms of his game experience, um, it's not it's not a, a, a mystery who has more uh, game experience, him or Shane. He probably has the most game experience of the quarterbacks that we have now. But, I mean, like I said, uh, he's learning a lot from Shane because he doesn't know the playbook like Shane probably knows the playbook because Shane's been there for long. But uh, when September 3rd hits, I mean, they're both going to know the playbook and they're both going to be ready to compete. Uh, and whoever, uh, whether it's Shane, Walton, or whoever the quarterback uh, ends up starting September 3rd, um, that quarterback will be ready. How long does it take to develop sort of a rapport or rhythm with 